Hello, as I have. So in this video, we are going to solve lead code third problem, which is longest substring. So basic idea of longest substring is you have one a string and you have to find a substring which has non-defeating character. So as here you can see, you uh, have one a string a b and uh, something something. Then you have to find one a string which has non-defeating character. So as here you can see a b and c then again a b c is repeating so you just uh, have to find means maximum length of the substring which is have non repeating characters so i'm just taking uh, i'm just visualizing it into the simple way so i'm just taking one long array and uh, put uh, putting one character by character into that array and before putting that character into array i'm just checking if it is already in the array or not so to do that I have two pointers so let's visualize it I have two pointer here I and J which is initialized to 0 and one variable max which will uh, actually count how many elements are in the array so max is basically J minus I so as here I have just missed out uh, uh, the value of j but so before posting so for first i have taken one example k r p as j so just you have one empty array before putting k check if it is already in the array or not well, initially array is empty so uh, uh, this condition will be true so just put k into the array then in that case max will be one and j will be increment to one so I have just uh, we are going to just increment j. So now again in the second step, put next character into the array and check if it is already in the array or not before putting that character. So uh, in array our array uh, we have only k. Then uh, we are just going to put r into that array because because r is not in the array. Same as p, same as a, and same as j. Here you can see the max value uh, will be equal to 4 now put j in that array now before putting a you ha already have e in that array so in that case you just have to increment i by 1 and put j as constant means i by 1 and, and the, our new element will be new array will be r p a j so in that case max equal to max of max comma 4 so 4 is the length of the array current uh, currently created array so in that array there will be four elements as here i have shown in the green box so in that uh, again move to next step before putting it check check a is already or not so a is already our, our array so delete move uh, i to next so r will be deleted from the array in that case our array size will be 3 so here max equal to max comma 3 same as ne uh, uh, next step same for the next step and same for the next step and we have moved to the a so in that case our array size will be 0 means array is almost clear so again push next element to the array and again push next element to the array so in that case here max equal to max of 5 comma 2 and here max of 5 comma 1 so at the end we have received only max uh, values equal to max of 5 comma 2 so which is equal to 5 so in that case you uh, you will see the maximum length of non uh, repeating character is equal to Five, which is k r p a j because a is repeating so now let's implement it so i'm just going to open code prompt so here just take two variable i equals d zero j equals zero and max i'm uh, writing max equal to zero so write one loop while i less than 
len of yes or j less than len of s check if uh, and uh, take one array as well temporary array which is which will be equal to uh, null means empty and check if a string of i is already present in the array or not if it is not in the array just check for j then append that element into the the array increment value of j and write max equal to max of max comma j minus i okay else if it is not in the array then just remove remove that element means then uh, remove from the beginning i plus one on at the end return max so now let's run this code so it is accepted now submit this code so the solution is submitted successfully so I've just written as I have explained in the uh, diagram as here I've just uh, written this algorithm uh, just via uh, this diagram so first check if it is already in the array or not if it is not in the array then just push it then check the value of max if then uh, check the value of max if it uh, it is present in the array then remove that element from the beginning then again uh, check check uh, the next element before pushing it into the array and at the end if any one of the condition fails then uh, return the, the value of max so that's it the time complexity for this algorithm is big o of n because i am just writing only one uh, loop and uh, it is just going through zero to nth uh, element of the list that's why the time complexity of this algorithm is big o of n so time complexity will be big o of n so thanks for watching see you in the next